Let's see if I can figure out this um, last this area, this puzzle, whatever. Okay, so I need Zontessa, Frolic, Amadia. I'm pretty sure Amadia is human. Where's the rest of this fucking area? Dwarven Temple. This might be it, dude. Bishop Alexander ain't doing too hot. Bro, I just don't wanna. I mean, we can. This is what's got my attention right here. Look at this. Okay. We are headed this way. Whatever the fuck this is, we're going this way. And I do not have a fucking teleport or anything to get me close there. Just gonna walk that shit. Can't reach. Come on, nothing. Oh, come on, game. Don't be fucking with me. Yeah, it is gonna get me there. Yeah, if I can hit it. Can't reach. I'm worried about jumping into some kind of combat on accident. Hey, bro. Thanks for the treasures. Oh, God damn it. Nothing. Shit. All that was was the treasures. Looking at it, it looks like you're going to go the other way. Kitty, why is everything got to be blow the fuck up? This will get me over there. This will get me close. Can't reach. No climbable fucking nothing.
gets a treasure chest, I guess. Yeah. I need all that stuff there. Service terminal. Keep me moving me around. The doors loom above you. One step closer to the council. One step closer to divinity. What the fuck? The others must surely be thinking the same. After all, only one of you can ultimately ascend. Time for an honest discussion, perhaps. What the fuck? So, I guess this is it. I can't see two ways about it. I need to be myself again. Finally. I can't risk getting shut out by this demon. It wants to keep me quiet. To rule in place of me. I... I need to make sure I'm strong enough that it can never seize control again. I won't let it make me silent in my own skin. I need to ascend. Gonna whoop her ass. Let's do this. The Academy. My Academy. This place was home once. Now I'm not sure what home even means. But I know one thing. I may be the last of my line. But the hope for my people lives on through me. I must try to save them. I must ascend. It is the only way to guarantee that my race will never be snuffed out. Just fucking strength persuade all of them. <laughs> Perhaps you do know. Whoop! Best. Yes. Curious. I was sure I would burst into flames if I ever uttered those words. Oh well. Come, Godwoken. Let's. Looks like we're at the end of the line. Look, divinity is an immense responsibility. All that power. It corrupts. I saw what it did to Lucian, a soldier like me. I won't let that happen to anyone else. For their sake, and the sake of Rivalon, I must ascend. No. He nods once. I'll support you. Let's well, go. Well, that was the end of that, you bitches. Formation. Because I knew that this is going to happen before. Just fuck my formation up. Who has all the fucking... I don't know. No, no, that's not what I'm interested in. L. Inventory. I. Okay, put this in back into people's inventories. Thank you, be green. I mean, we don't got much money, do we? What if we somehow miss something? Should we just keep going then? I thought I had to do a puzzle. Well, I've only seen one of the puzzles. 
What happens? I've only seen one area. May still be in working order. Interesting. It may still be in working order. its power somehow. Delegate. Set the fight, sir. The Void Woken rears its head as you approach, its beady eyes looking past you. You glance over your shoulder and see Fane staring at it, transfixed. You. The Void Woken hisses as Fane approaches. Uh -huh. It calls him traitor, but it calls him brother, too. Brother. Fane's drive to uncover the universe's secret saw the Eternals cast into the Void. His hubris saw his people turned into Voidwoken. But the Voidwoken offers him a chance to redeem himself, to rejoin his people. Why? If he accepts the God King's covenant, all will be forgiven. The Voidwoken claims that the Eternals can return to this world, that Fane can be home again. The skeleton looks back at you. Don't be an idiot, bro. A Voidwoken stares intently at you. This creature seems different. It sways with a sinewy purpose. Intelligence glints in its eyes. Step back, Hanola. The time of mortals draws to a close. We have returned to claim what is ours. We have returned to claim the world. Yeah, number one, you ain't... No, we'll whoop your ass for fun. We are not the void, mortal. We are of the world. You! When we were vanished, you were made. You owe your entire existence to us. You owe us. <laughs> I laugh at you. I kill furry monsters. We were betrayed by the seven usurpers. Yeah, They yeah. took our powers and used them to create you. They sent us to the void and thought we'd never return. They were wrong. And now they will face the wrath of the king. That's the final boss, the scarecrow guy. Because the scarecrow dude pissed me off, alright? Number one, of course it is the gods. They were little more than local barons until Fane the traitor found the veil. In their greed, the seven tore its fabric. This gave them power. It made them gods, and it led the void into the world, and saw us banished to its clutches. 
One. You left us no choice. We had no other tools. We shall return, and then we shall cast out the void. Do not resist us. We shall be who we once were, and the world shall be restored to what it was before we were betrayed. Well, yeah, well, original sin, all that shit. We're about to whoop your ass, number two. But we will not fight your us. What? The time will come when the thieving coward inside of you must step out. If it can still. I'm trying to fight my god spirit. You shall end then. Well, later, dude. What you were told hangs in the air like a noxious cloud. The Void Woken were Eternals, robbed of their source in order to create you. They allied themselves with the Void so they could return. Two. Suddenly, it all makes sense. Folks will do anything to survive. Who could blame them? My... My people. What have they done to you? This cannot stand. You must be restored. Progress is annihilation of one way of life by another. I guess we're progress. 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 Well, what does this do? Bet you look like you're going to the super ascension, ascension tower place to me. Oh, hell no, son. Would you like to open another bitch's coffin? Some nice crystal you got there. An automaton still and silent before you. A faint glow pulsates from within its chest cavity. Give me that Dormant, treasure. Perhaps. A compartment in the side of the contraption appears to be empty. There's capacitor. a part missing. The capacitor sparks and fizzles. Then the pulsating light begins circulating throughout the automaton. It rises. The automaton looms above you. A lone, glowing eye takes you in dispassionately. Got all the what's the siphon poison there? You already know this skill. I don't know if I can afford all this goofy shit. She knows that. That's so expensive, man. Oh, buy some shit. <laughs> Ready for induction. Very good. 
I am here to serve. What are we doing here? This is the Academy. It is a place of great learning. I am the Seneschal. I serve both those who teach and those who come to learn. Those like you. Allow me to show you. Yes, dear. The what? Academy exists to help, uh, to help unveil the divine from amongst the Godwoken. What you gotta do now? You must enter the temple, Is then that there? prove yourself in the arena of the one. Godwoken should, should, should be able to enter without issue. It seems that the Academy has been impeded due to neglect or interference. I appear to have been <laughs> Apologies, Godwoken. I trust you will be able to overcome any difficulties. How do you fight? It's quite simple. Defeat all others. Okay, thanks, bro. Wow, look at that fucking armor. See if I can get an impressive. She has 7% dungeon, but I'll take that armor. But the deeps, man, the deeps is hard to come up with. What are you wearing for gauntlets? You're the, the destroyer ones, right? Yes, it's in, just three to strength. Okay. That looks more like a super lair to me, bro. I'm just saying. What's this shit then? You're meant to run into that dude. What about this? Fix this up. Fix this laser beam shooting shit. It's a nice little book or something right there, too. An ancient library. I feel right at home. Ooh, here we go. Did you see somebody's name? Cast the fucking shit out. No, you have the lunatic here. Spirit of the Chronicler. The 
The spirit keeps glancing back. A difficult task since it's... How can I help? I must check on the chancellor. The ghost's memories slip easily into your mind. His name is Kandor, and he thinks he's ready to ascend. He thinks he can be God-woken, ready to step up should Lucian lose the war. He's wrong. He'll die. He did die before he even made it to the Chancellor to ask for permission to fight in the Arena of the One. And what's more, huh? he was murdered. Deeper. You are Candor, and you are, you believe, ready to step up. Your tutors disagree, but you want the Chancellor to hear your case. Instead, you find a man you've never met, a great and powerful sorcerer. And as his shadow falls upon you, you realize that this is Lucian the Divine himself. He gives you a smile of the utmost benevolence and grace, and you realize, as Candor, that you are far from ready. You turn and flee towards the library to warn your tutors, but Lucian is too fast. He cuts you down. Your Candor the Godwoken, dead by the hand of the Divine. A hunger rises deep within you, a desire for his source. This yearning is not yours, but it demands satisfaction. The hunger dies away, for now. May I consume him? You pause. Lucian was the divine. Why would he want to harm anyone in the academy from where his successor ought to rise? Hmm. Hard to believe the divine did all that. Hardly worthy of the title, if you ask me. Oh, why do humans do anything? The man was probably driven mad with power. An Eternal would have no such issues. The Divine killed far more than Godwoken. He wasn't worthy of the name. The spirit of a rather old man dodders around, seemingly oblivious to the condition of the room. He turns and offers you a genial smile. Ah, a new student. I admire your enthusiasm, but I'm just about to close the gallery. You'll have to return in the morning. What? The ghost frowns with confusion, then wags a reprimanding finger at you. You're new, so I won't report your insolence. But you had better learn some manners if you hope to make use of the gallery. All the powers that a god woken needs are documented in these tools. The gallery is the Important part of the whole academy, as far as I am concerned. I will not allow it to be disrespected. All right, what the fuck are you talking about, oh, there, bro? Come now, surely you must have heard of the gallery. Where? It's the repository for the God Woken tools. I will not allow it to be disrespected. I'm not going to eat you, even though you want me to eat you. Okay? Or maybe I should have ate you. Hit this button. An elegant and intelligent looking lizard. She gives you a haughty look, then what? turns away. A she hunger did. rises deep within you. The hunger dies. Eat, eat this bitch. Which one came You are Leonard Raw. You are a godwoken and a thief. Shit. You keep your secrets well. 
even from yourself. Punching. You are Leonard Raw, Godwoken, thief. If you can't earn a place in Lucian Shadow, you're going to steal it. You think you'll find advantage in the Forbidden Library. But first, you have to steal the keys. Your tutors have one each, but you can't risk getting caught. You'd earn yourself a trip to the Chancellor's Chamber, one from which you suspect you would not return. Give me the memories. Your best friend, Redalus, was your rival. You knew that he was weak. You made sure the Chancellor knew it too. And while your friend was in the Chancellor's secret room, you stole the capacitor from the Chancellor's own table. But then you heard a noise. You heard the sound of your best friend's murder. You fled. You hid the capacitors you had taken and set out to steal the rest. You were lurking here, plotting. When you were overtaken with a sense of love, you felt huh? at peace. You felt Lucian's hand on your shoulder. You did not feel the sword blade enter your back. A hunger rises deep within you, a desire for the spirit source. This yearning is not yours, but it demands the hunger die. I'll leave the freaking god walking bitch trying to eat a lot and fucking take over or something. What's the unusual tablet? Ow! I think I'm missing something here. Conspicuous contraption. I must check on the Chancellor. Hmm. I think I'm missing something here. So I went through the fucking wall. A trick. Okay. Is that, gonna, is that little floor gonna get me? Or is it just water? It's pretty bad if it is water though, right? Too high. Too high. Too high. Okay, it's wigging out. Press the button. Those are like a living people's. The automaton fixes its god war. So does it come inside?
Her memories flow into you as water to a stream. You are Tarian Grey. You are Godwoken, but you will not be divine. You know this because you are in love with a colleague and rival. You are in love with Redalus, and he is in love with you. You have agreed to leave the Academy together, but now Redalus is missing. Redalus went to see the Chancellor, and you have not seen him since. You're on your way to the Chancellor's chambers when a man's voice calls your name. Lucian the Divine cups your chin, and a gentle pain stabs your heart. Lucian smiles at you, and then is gone, and you worry so for Redalus. One. Believing it comes from her own mind, she realizes the truth. She was murdered by Lucian the Divine. Redless too must be dead, or he would have come for her by now. She bows her head and cries. Oh no! She knows Redless went to see the Chancellor in his chambers. She did not know that Lucian was already there. She weeps. Bro, I need to know about the keys and shit. Come on now, back to the shy and master thread. Candor still thinks he'll be the next. Di you are Candor, and, and as you turn and flee towards the light, a hunger rises deep within you. The hunger dies away. You already got that treasures. What's over here then? Save it right here. Something seems to be blocking the way. Something seems to be blocking the way. The spirit of ghost. So that's where I'm supposed to go at the arena though, but shit, I guess. Face a familiar foe. Before you was a dwarf you once knew, or at least thought you did. You see in his sneer a new beast. Nobility twisted into arrogance. Coarseness turned to cruelty. What an asshole. The God King has birthed a new son. I don't fight the coming storm. I am the coming storm, and you would be escaped. Yes, it's me. In the flesh. To an extent. Well, you know. No such thing for those who scar themselves for the God King. I have found a new master. A kind master. A promise of eternity. Through him, I shall be free. Oh shit, what that was a fucking So I would think Wow, you went magic, huh? You fucked. You'll be joining me. On the forces of uh no 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 who's gonna be joining me she will Fo focus target on her god welcome are your studies complete what the fuck i want to figure this out because this is driving me nuts over here i can't reach it i can reach it so you have a button Go in there and class clear mine on your character with high uh, in or whatever. We'll see what's going on.
I think I'm missing something here. I'm missing something here. Ow! I think I'm missing something here. There's only one way this works. way it works. Can you move that? Oh shit, he says. This is gonna be the scrolls and shit you left. Lucian, kill these people. She gives you the haughty look once more, then turns away. A hunger rises. The hunger. She gives you the haughty. A hunger. The hunger. What's the fucking quest call? Because I'm stupid. I'm scholarly pursuits. Watch out, kitty. I must run over your tail. I'm feeling real bad. Oh, gosh. the video at the same time so I ain't got fucking shit clear it is okay here we go stay awake Steve I haven't killed nobody yet and playing them I'm about to fall asleep I got uh, my whole thing's about murder step on a pressure plate press a button on the eastern pillar unusual tablet Okay, there's a pressure plate in the middle here. Cast it. Watch what he does. Check out it. What are you doing? Is 
to there. Go up. Contraption. Oh, yes, yeah, just need to pay attention what the guy was doing. They told you the guy knew. Gods. You feel lightheaded. The gods now seem like tyrants, feeding upon their worshippers' source, like their cattle raised to be slaughtered. Jump to a conclusion and you might fall off a cliff. People do what they do for a lot of reasons. There might be more to this story. Raised as cattle? Not at all. Cattle are worth so much more to their owners. This is callous, even for the seven. Time will come, and sooner than you think. The fuck was that? Now I would say we're ready. We got to fight some bitches here. We can clearly fight the automaton. I think Sybil should join our team, don't you think, Key? In the charm status. Seven. Oh, come on. Close up. 
All right. Studies can all God woken. I take you now. The wells there or you. So it begins. Took it away from me. The first God woken to enter the wellspring of ascension becomes. Divine. May the new divine be worthy. For the rest, may she have mercy on your soul. To the wellspring of ascension, begin. Okay, so we do have people. Quirkus! have another move, apparently. No, don't put Sybil up there. She's undead, though, right? Poison is adrenaline. <laughs> Laugh about it, bro. Oh, she's already fucking lost her hit points. God damn. God damn. Join me. And together. Be trolled. We're over fucking powered. Might as well wait. Run for it. You killed your get you killed her on accident, bro. Was that a smart idea? Hey, if 
campaign. How about you join this fucking fight? He's like, sure, why not, man? Who's this thing? An internal sentinel? You gonna try to help me? Checking his gear. There's no checking his gear, man. Hope your strategy was smart because it didn't seem like it did it. takes notice of its charges. What do you want? Ah, yes, Quercus, remember that. When it was too busy rushing to the seaside to listen to good counsel. Thankfully, I hold on to my keepsakes, unlike my grudges. The squirrel throws you a small piece of bark, on which is scratched the outline of a powerful spell. A memento from your lizard friend's basement. I hope you put it to better use than she did. The squirrel turns his... Three new recipes. Gave me recipes, huh? Right. Gave me the vampire character, but my characters have learned it, I think. You gonna try to fight me? Well, there's two of them. Three of them? No, there's only two. Bro, you will need a lot more two, I'm just telling you. Smash through your shit. Wow. Oh. Hmm, he says.
out here close so we can get your ass. How are you guys not in a fight? He's still in a fight. You're not in a fight. Target out of sight. Get your ass up here into the fire. You had big music in the game, but you couldn't stop me from killing the thing. of you to come, God Woken. You know, you are many things, but above all, you are reliable. Reliable oh, look to the at point that sword of you got. You came to the wellspring. I followed. 
The Lady Vengeance is, after all, my ship. And now here we all are. Ah, shit. It is time, mistress. She gives you a long and steady look, as if it is the last time you shall see each other for the rest of eternity. Then she dips her chin in acknowledgement. You are almost her equal. Yes, Vredeman. It is time. She raises the Aetirum. Like a divining rod to water, it seeks the wellspring and finds it. The device hums to life. We are done, mistress. Yes, Breederman, we are done. And so too, Godwoken, are you. Soon you shall be little more than relics of a bygone time, and this place shall be your tomb. Goodbye. Oh, so we're going to fight? But does she have a spirit god helping her? Hmm. It might be wise to look for a way out. I think we were in big trouble. Calm down. The ritual has failed. The structure lies in ruins, but you have at least survived. You should feel relief, disappointment, confusion, anything but the rage that wells up from deep within you. The rage grows, burning hotter than the volcano itself, tearing at you, seeking to overpower your senses. The red mist wants to descend. The red mist feels like it does not belong to you. The red mist feels alive. Huh? And it wants you. A familiar figure materializes before you. A copy of yourself, enraged. Your own face glows at you in hateful fury. It opens its mouth, and your furious god begins to speak. I called a hero from the chaff. I called him here to me. I called a hero from below, and he shall set us free. Hear and heed my call, my love. Your hand is mine to hold. Hear and heed my call, no, this my is love. Cheese ball shit. I've secrets. To unfold you are mine you are my own your life belongs to me huh? you are mine you are my own my champion to be she gives you a look of the deepest darkest contempt my mistake I saved you I kill these bitches did you I blessed you I built you into what you are I made you of you but I gave you everything you needed to reach your goal and yet you failed me and you felt you could throw me a bone a memory returns a sacrifice at an altar on the island Enraged. Zolstissa smiles and seems to grow I admit I ate that bone now I must do the job for which you were made now I must wield what's left of my power and become the one god, savior of the kin and lord I've of the I've gotta um, charm them if they are enraged. Give me your body and soul. Now before the others come. Hell no. There can be only one now. Give yourself to me. You never learn your lesson, do you? I gave you life. Now I take it away. to get would be you know but she's in fucking raged bro could she jump up there she can't jump because she's in raged she can't do a move so if you throw her ass down there she has to walk 
all the fucking way around. What if you threw her there? Did she even fucking... I don't know. Pick her up. She went... You, you can't... You can get objects from there, but you can't get her. So. Alright, so we're gonna throw her ass down there. She has to walk. Because she's enraged. She can't do an attack. Alright? Oh, shit! Is that a place where she can climb up? Looks like she can climb up there. Damn, I should put far further away. Alright, so we've got to fuck people up. Break their physical shield. He's gonna go before my before, before we get to go. But when we get to go, we're gonna fuck her up. Wasted your turn. It's bless. What are you doing? This one's gonna hurt real bad. Fuck! Fuck! shit in one go. What do you have that's going to hit, hit physically hard? I mean mentally. You can winter blast his ass. Three, 300 damage. For two. Damn it. Didn't seem to hit that hard. Wet though, right? Well, everybody's got their shields up. Alright, he's shot, so we're good. comes. She's gonna make it. She's gonna make it. Oh, you were stupid. She have to teleport. She's already used to teleport. This one 
still has two things for shot. Big damage. We're just gonna kill your ass. You're burning, so you're dead. Where's my character at? have all of our armor and shit. They're still clear-minded. Get down. Just got one more as a chicken. I use my shield? I've used the shield. How can I do 200 damage? Yeah. 200 physical damage. No, you need more than 200 physical damage. You need a lot more physical damage. back, but it ain't gonna be good enough, son. Is there any physical damage? Yes. Teleport either. We've been teleporting the shit out of each of this stuff. Bitch got thrown away, kitty, and that was into her. He's 
immune to it, but maybe he'll walk around it. That's what my actual logic was. That's what it was. Smart or not? Pretty fucking smart. What are we talking about? <laughs> what are you gonna do now, buddy? Pretty big damages. Pretty big damages, I'd say. Big enough. The answer is fuck no. The Titan lies in pieces before you. The god controlling it is dead by your hand. Lava roils as earthquakes rumble around you. Shockwaves of sound pierce the air, the growl of shifting ground. Suddenly, a voice echoes in your mind. What's the voice echo? It's Malady. Where the hell are you, she calls. Ah, find my beacon. We need to get out of here now. Her voice crackles and dissipates in your mind. Who are we fighting against? Uh oh what, you, what is this? The lava eruption itself?
don't give a fuck about it. Trip and fall, dummy. Urgh, he made it. This game, this game! Oh, yeah, go past that lava. Just wait it out there. When I said never again, I really meant once or twice more. Okay, okay, <clears throat> okay. All of echoes what? once more. Our home away from home. Close indeed. You almost became a god, and instead you're still you. At least oh. you managed to murder one of the seven. Quite respectable. I've never seen anything so. 
Let's talk about this later. We need to rest. We've still one big jump to go, but we'll have to wait. She casts her gaze around, taking in the streaming bluish ether. She breathes a deep, ragged breath. At least it's quite, quite beautiful here, isn't it? I'm going to take a rest, sort myself out. I suggest you do the same. Speak to the ship if you need me. She'll know where to find me. This may be your last bit of respite before the storm blows in again, God Woken. Enjoy it. You deserve that much. Thank you, gang. We whooped your fucking boss's ass. After all that's just happened, life, every flawed morsel of it, seems more precious to you than ever. You look around at those who have accompanied you so far. In each one, something unique shines through. Divinity has eluded you so far, but life, life beats strong within you, here and now. Who knows what lies ahead for you, for your companions? Your quest failed. <laughs> the void is growing stronger, and the hall is dark. You feel the need for some affection. Perhaps they feel it too. <laughs> hey, Faye, you want to have some skeleton sex? No, we'll have the butt sex of Lois of a cuss. You know, I ain't rolling with the other two. I'm just saying. The other one dead thing. Don't do it for me. <laughs> Alone. Together. You. I mean, just out of the blue. Me. I, I need a new red princess. You could be the one. I love that. Lead the way, Chief. As you move to go below decks, the live wood creaks and groans. The steps you thought you knew lead you to a part of the ship you've never seen before. A newly carved nook that smells of resin and wood chips. Touching the wall beneath your fingers, the live wood hums at your touch. You understand that the Lady Vengeance has carved this space for you in gratitude for your help. Now I'm going to click Quirk. I should have taken Quirkus instead! You enter and feel the presence of the ship <laughs> recede, offering you the total privacy of a moment alone with your companion. The first moment you have been truly alone together. Hey, lady, do you do butt stuff? Would you get a load of this place? She saunters around the room, inspecting it like she plans to move in. She tosses her head over her shoulder and calls out to you in an affected tone. I suppose it will do, darling. Her face cracks into a smile, One. then a laugh. <laughs> Corny! So, what should we do? Wait, don't answer that. She digs into her pack, skipping over to you, and sits on the ground at your feet, then tugs your hand for you to sit on the ground too. On the ground? She Not sets the bed? Empty on the couch? On the ground Fucking nice couch? And looks at you impishly. Let's do some wine. Let's play a game. What game? It's called Spout's Choice. We each take a turn spinning this here bottle, and whoever the spout points to, well, I'll explain that part when we get there. Okay. You can go first. She takes your hand and places it on the bottle, on its side between you. Go on, spin. Clockwise. The bottle swishes in circles as it spins. Losa watches it intently as it lands, pointing directly at her. She smiles and blushes. Two. Well, in this game, you're meant to plant one on whoever the bottle lands on. A punch? She flutters her eyelashes in exaggerated coquettishness, her blush deepening. It's a kiss punch. One. She kisses you back, gently, more gently than you expected, then leans away, flushed with color. If Corcus is here, we could have the, you know, the extra option. My. <clears throat> My turn. She spins the bottle, and it twirls and twirls, and comes to a rest, pointing into a no-man's land to the left of your knee. She doesn't lift her eyes from the bottle, but quickly corrects it to face you. She looks up then, drawing an arc with her eyes from the bottle's tip to your gaze. Her dark eyes are deeper, lusher than ever before. More freaking evil demons. Hey, Chief. She crawls across the space between you and climbs into your lap, wrapping her legs around you. She melts into you and nuzzles her face into the crook of your neck. 
Her body is warm, warmer than it should be, her weight comforting and solid against you. She speaks into your neck, her lips brushing against your skin. Chief. Chief. Look, I don't know what's going to happen from here on out. I don't know if we'll find Dallas. I don't know which one of us is going to, you know, all the stuff they say we'll do. I don't even know if I'm still going to be myself much longer. I won't cure you or know or make you an evil archdemon. But I do know that I'm happier now than I've ever been in my life. You make me feel like, like I have a voice. Like I'm not just a host. Like I'm a real person. I need to tell you something. Go ahead. The thing is, I, well, you know, when two people get to know each other pretty well, it's just, I... Yes? I... Oh. I love you. When suddenly you feel the thud, thud, thud of her heart hammering against her chest and into yours. I love you too. I love you too. I love you too. This makes it more dramatic when she turns to a demon. One tear streams out of the corner of her eye as she breaks into a fit of laughter and throws herself forward, knocking you to the ground, her whole body wrapped around yours. Oh, I've wanted you for so long. In full body I armor. You like this. Reminds so me of, long. um, what the fucking shit is, uh, Excalibur. That movie Excalibur. That was a great movie, by the way. Shiniest armor ever. Yes, yes, one. Let's get this done. And takes your chin Hungry. softly in her hand, parting your lips. She comes close to your mouth, so close, then licks your lips once, oh. twice, and kisses you softly. Soft as your first time, then harder, deeper, her tongue swirling around yours. Ah! She tugs at your clothes and growls in your ear. She says, I like chicken. Get these off. Oh, now we're going to take the army armor off. Oh, okay. She nips and kisses newly exposed flesh all over your body, running her mouth from your neck to your belly button, down to your shins, up to your thighs. This is my lizard scales. Oh, that is one beautiful man. Lizard man. She sits up on her knees, still straddling your hips, and shimmies out of every last article of clothing. Her body is smooth and soft, flesh dipping generously beneath your hands. You could take handful after handful of her and never have enough. Here I am, all of me, and I want all of you. Yeah, yeah. She moves her body slowly, slowly, slowly over yours until you are one person, the surprise of it, the perfection of it making you both gasp. She moves in small circles, your bodies joined like they were made for each other, like they were never meant to be apart. Oh, you're perfect. You're perfect. She covers your hands with hers, guides them to places that make her exhale sharply, her eyelids fluttering. She keeps a gentle pace, then begins moving faster, harder, sweat glistening what on I'm her collar. Standing around like this reminds me of fucking, uh, it's another movie, it was a fucking, um, Demolition Man, they're doing the VR sex. Like this? This is girl, it's called RP, alright? Do you like my shiny sword? She keeps the pace, her eyes locked with yours, a half-drugged smile on her lips. This is it. This is my cure. You're my cure. You are one in the night, one great beautiful being, your bodies aching with desire where they touch, your mind ablaze, your souls entwined, growing great, greater, greater, greater. Greatest! How could I have gone this long without you? Ugh. In this infinite moment, it feels you'll never be apart again. And apart. Carcass! This is your turn! <laughs> oh, now we get a cutscene! She's got the big hips, bro. I gotta go find Carcass now. Losa yawns and stretches, arching her whole body like a cat. She folds into you. Her head on your chest, arm draped around your body. I'm gonna love you for the rest of my life, you know. Okay, fair enough. However long that is. Well, probably about 20 game hours. 
Even if I have morning breath. Even if a demon eats my whole brain. Even if I hog all the blankets in the night and I'm not even sorry. Even then... She holds you tighter and kisses your chest where your heart is. So, I guess we should get back out there. Save the realm, stop the void, blah blah blah. Yeah, number two, let's get mm, this shit back to work. You have work. no I, I to... idea how much I needed that. She plants a quick kiss on your lips and a bite on your neck. Let's get out of here, Chief. Quirkus! I gotta get back to going, though. Quirkus, it's okay. We're okay. He runs his paws over the cat's skeleton with long, methodical strokes. Sometimes his fingers curl, as if he's forgotten that Quirkus's fur is long gone. Shh. Don't cry. We got out. We made it. We're safe. They can't get us here. The knights will never hurt us again, Quirkus. I promise. Three. Alright, I got a chronicle for that. Alright, I'm about to, um... can't identify what they ain't actually in my team. Okay, so we're out of here because I'm hungry, man. I wanted to look at those items I took from that um, Titan, but apparently not. 